Uh, we're in the villa in Marbella. Um, we've got DJ Gavi Gav, the photographer, on the show today. He's kind of been a well-known face over the years. Uh, well, Gav. Yeah. I'm usually behind the counter, aren't I? Yeah. I usually get a you back, a back of my napper. Are, are I should sit this way around, because that's what you usually do. <laughs> 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 the fun and games at the, at the photo shoots normally, mate. Well, no, it's been nice. It's been keep a few the, years keep now, Gav, isn't it? Keep the beat going. How many years have you been with the boys? I don't know, I was on. trying to work that out. I mean, it must have been... You weren't here like obviously maybe the first two years you weren't with us. Uh, they were they we were sh- really we crap. terrible years. Terrible, really, terrible, terrible, years. terrible. We stumbled across Gav. I think we we, we used a model called yeah, Bradley right. Coyne, oh, and then Bradley Coyne shot with Slaters, and then yeah. I think you shot with you were Slaters shot with as photographer, and then he was obviously like oh. Aye. He's a shot with this guy. He's not very funny. He's not got much <laughs> chat. He's a bit of a pain in the arse, but he Sounds takes a, a few right. good photos. So, uh, hi, we tried you. And sure there we are. That's right. Uh, and then it was. It was I tried, tried to shake yeah, him off. Yeah, tried a few times. Tried to shake him off. I'm, I'm not going. I didn't invite him to this <laughs> villa. He just yeah, appeared yeah, at the yeah, door. Yeah, that was a that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I've had to put up with for many years. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's right. He uh, he said, oh, there's these two guys, a clothing brand, you know, in Glasgow, you know. And I thought, oh, yeah, God. I bet and you, heard, you, phoned, I bet that you phoned me up. And I thought, who's this guy, man? And he was like, right, what's your price? What you, you know, so, and then... And then we said, no, right. actually put your prices up, Gav. Well, I, I'm, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've kept, I've kept them down for the last seven didn't years. Even tell, it's just, <laughs> just slid it in there, didn't well, it? Well, that's, that's what's happening uh, in this yeah. day and age. Oh, but, um, I better get a decent bottle of wine this year. Yeah, well. well we do yep. Christmas presents for Gav, don't we? That's, don't don't that's, talk about that's that. That's 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 a, <laughs> I know. Not everybody gets that. It's only us, isn't it? Not everybody gets that. Anyway, move on. Yeah, start. So, yeah, you used the model Brad. Uh, Bradley was it, and uh, yeah. yeah, he he was with you for quite a while at the start, yeah, wasn't he? Yeah. Uh, Bradley good, played good at uh, St Mirren. He was uh, one a nice of the players at St Mirren when I was there. Yeah, so uh, kind of starting the brand, kind of limited budget where you can spend on models and stuff yeah. like that. And Bradley being a local guy, that would definitely helped. And yeah, we were, we were kind of shooting up Byers Road in Glasgow. Yeah, and, uh, it wasn't that glamorous at the start, uh, was it? It was nah, uh, really, not at all. Really. It was down. Uh, Lanes in Glasgow. So I do just got to get started. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we made it look good. And, Aye, we've done our best uh, to get it. And then I think, uh, when would you say, what was the first big step? What was the first big shoot? I think, you, I think we, Dubai. we brought a, Dubai, a, we brought a model in called Leon Scott that That's modeled right. for a few other brands yeah. and we went away to Dubai. Do you know what I mean, that was one uh, of the first photo shoots. Uh, yeah. And it was big for us because that's the first time we'd obviously spent a lot of money at the time, which yeah. we probably didn't really have. Took a bit of a gamble, took a few people away, and uh, obviously the, the images for that were amazing and yeah. it just really kicked us on, didn't it? Yeah, that was like, what was the summer? It was a spring-summer collection for what year was oh, that? Then? that I reckon it was 16? Two, nah, earlier than that. 15? Yeah, I, I think it was. 15. I reckon 15. Yeah. That would have been our third year no, of 15. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, because we started kind of yeah, late 13, 14, yeah. 14 would have been uh, like kind of still using Brad. Anyway, it was an epic shoot for yeah, uh, for everyone, I think, uh, involved. And, um, Shooting out in the desert, that was class, wasn't yeah, it? I think, I think people think we go on the fo- photo shoots, it's just the jolly up, isn't uh, it? Yeah. The, like, we've just obviously... F- Tell you can tell everybody where we are right now, so yeah. um, we're doing our spring-summer campaign at, in a, a villa in Marbella that... We've rented for the last few days, yeah. so uh, for the next few days, sorry. So just uh, should find out some content. So what's that? It's ten past seven here now. Just we didn't stop shower. that long ago, did we? We've nah, been, we've been shooting, shooting all day. Shooting all day. Days, obviously, yeah, like Robo says, I think people think it's a bit jolly. Up. And don't get me wrong, have fun. We do have yeah, fun. Yeah, we got to have fun. That was a good laugh. Uh, yeah. Nah, it is it? It's a long day, isn't it? I think the models will tell you as well. It's, a bit of a graft, <laughs> it's yeah. normally when you get to about four o'clock and the models are flagging. <laughs> I'm like, when we finishing, when we finishing. Yeah. That's where Gav comes in. Bit yeah. of banter. Uh, a bit of banter. I would say him. that about you, Gav. Like, you, do, you do keep the morale up at the, the shoots. Like, it's kind of important, you know. I think, yeah, how do you how do you find working with like different models from different countries? Obviously, we've yeah. we've used guys like Swedish, English, yeah. American, Italian. Oh, mixture, real mixture. Obviously, this time we've got Antonio who's Italian yeah. as well. Do yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah. uh, it's a language like broken, barrier, but broken English. After, isn't it? after a day, he's sort of getting to know <laughs> you know side, side on, on and <laughs> you know turn around and things yeah. like that. But you're, first speaking, few hours, you're speaking Italian, to him, aren't you? I was trying my best. I mean, Google Translation's quite good for that. I suppose these days <laughs> didn't really have that a few years back did uh, we yeah true mate but true. um no it's the um, yeah i mean it's been it's been some journey mate i tell you like how did you get into photography Gavin? 
Because uh, I mean, you did a. You've obviously told us because you're, 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 you're obviously a free, you're, you're, a, you're, a, you're a freelance. You go from universities yeah. to, to photography. Like you're a free, really you're, you're a freelancer. Even. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're, you're not employed through yeah, the, through the employed, business. So it's um, like, how does that how does that work for uh, people listening? Started out, um, it was more TV production, and then I moved to London. I was doing that for a few good few years down was there. Was it TV production in, in Glasgow, Scotland? No, I was down in London, pretty much. Right, okay. I moved down there and. Um, Studied for a couple of years up here, then moved down there. I got a job <coughs> and uh, started working down there. And then the still side of the photography side kind of kicked in. I came back up to Scotland, intention swear to go back down to London uh, after six months. And then um, somebody said, listen, I've, I've got this job, it's some stills I need shot for, uh, I can't quite remember what the job was. And I said, yeah, let's, let's do it. And I thought, hey, this is quite good. I uh, quite enjoyed that. And then it just kind of rolled on from there. Snowballed uh, for there. Snowballed from there. And, uh, so did you do that in London for a while? Uh, not the stills, no. I didn't, no. I didn't end up so moving what were you back doing down. what were you doing at the TV production company? Uh, I worked for a uh, company down there that we were editing um, music videos, big concerts, things like that. Uh, they used to hire out all the camera equipment, used to set it all up for them. Uh, started off as a runner. So it's, the first job I had was going out and getting sandwiches and teas and all that mm. for... That's what I do now. <coughs> you That's still what I do, do now. Still I still do it now. I've been ironing all day. I've been ironing all day. You have. You've been out a few a few times for things. But, um, yeah, I started doing that for uh, directors and producers that would come in to this uh, um, company I work for. and Which is actually a really good job uh, when you're starting out because you start to get to know... Uh, people quite high up within, you know, production. Because oh, you're getting their sandwiches and that. Yeah, you get the sandwiches, you have, you have a <laughs> chat. Prawn sandwiches, big <laughs> You have a chat with them and, and, um, and you get to know them. So it, can, it, kind of, it kind of can open up doors for you if yeah. you're working in the, but, um, in the industry. But yeah, I did that for, well, not runner for four years. I kind of worked my way up through that company for a wee bit for, um, yeah, three, three to four years and then... Uh, I thought I need to go and do a bit of travelling, so I went away travelling. Came back to London, did some freelance work, moved up to Glasgow. Tensions were to go back down to London. You're originally from Glasgow, yes, sir. Trun, 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 and then I ended up staying up here, picked up work, and then that was it. Um, so, yeah, do you want to give your shout, your company a little shout out? Uh, visual aspect. So yeah. you when did you start? You'd obviously start. Follow, started visual follow aspect. and subscribe at Instagram. Follow, subscribe. Uh, it's, it's, you'd obviously yeah, start a visual aspect before you came into be inspired, didn't yep. you? So, yep. uh, like, how long ago did you start that? Was that as soon as so, you came back up to Glasgow? You started that? Uh, not, not straight away. So first of all, I uh, there was a friend of mine gave me a call, and he was working for a, a company down in Ayrshire. And um, they were kind of in the start of when e-com retail was really kicking in. So um, the company was called Drive Business. Some people will remember it. Um, and they had some uh, big clients and they were doing their online shops. Uh, one of them was All, All Saints, Gant Clothing mm -hmm. and a few other clothes, Bench Clothing uh, and, and the likes. Uh, and they phoned me up to say, can you come in and do some studio stuff for us? So I started cool. doing that and then <coughs> that rolled, rolled in a few years of doing that. And then... So you've obviously shot like a lot of clothing. Like yeah, a lot areas. of retail. Is that, is that kind of yeah, what, yeah. what's been mainly, it's been the fashion, uh, the, the growth of e-commerce. It's e-commerce, basically. The e-commerce, e you've obviously seen like the mad growth that we've yeah. had over the years. So it's yeah. like... And following that journey, I'm kind of... That as was, a photographer, that is, <laughs> opens well, up was, a light ah, course, exactly. it? There was a lot of money getting thrown at it at that point, and yeah. there was there was opportunities to, to, to go in that direction, and that's that. Because see, before, like, e-commerce, like, what would you what would you sort of typically be taking photos for, like, posters or, yeah, or things like that? Yeah, catalogues. It would be more for print yeah. uh, and it's websites. Like the Great Universal, little of his catalogue. Would you be doing that sort of stuff, do you reckon? Well, yeah, I was... Because that was kind of, like, before e-commerce, that, that was kind of what it was. It was kind of more going into the digital period where mm. catalogues were still kind of hanging about but now people don't really yeah it's very yeah. few companies that do now. what's the point yeah, now? And, 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 52 and, weeks at 139 uh, on a pair of 
Predator Aye. football boots. I know, my <laughs> mum was still paying off my preds from when I was younger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mum, can I get those trainers? I know, Aye, yeah, you'll get them for your Christmas oh. and paying for them till next Christmas. <laughs> Aye, there was all that, I suppose, but no, that, that, I never really got involved in print so much. It was kind of just moving out of that. You Were you know? just straight into sort of e-com? Yeah, it was more, I so it was, so, yeah. And then that company was kind of not going in a good direction and things were changing and I decided, you know what, I'm going to, I'm just going to go and approach some of the clients I'd been working with and just, I didn't even have a studio at the start and I, and I went for a, I think it was Slater's probably and it was like, right, so I, was, I went and had an kind of interview, not an interview, a kind of meeting with the uh, uh, head of the e-com or uh, her name was Susan Rose um, and she was like, we need this is done. Is that Johnny? Is that Johnny? Johnny Rose. I, is that his mum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so I went in and I was like, yeah, yeah, I can do all this. You don't worry about that. And Liar. Then I winged <laughs> it. You just winged it, mate, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 I can, I can do, do this. this. Yeah, yeah. How many not units do you need shot a week? Yeah. Say, yeah, we did say it was easy to just use a camera, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Big camera. No, no, it's very <laughs> scary. It's very difficult. It's very, very challenging. Gav was given that new iPhone a dirty look today, wasn't he? Cairo was going about with the iPhone today and Gav's like, ah, get that. iPhone, what's the camera on that? Get a boss like that. It's really nice. Where's the big camera? I know uh, that's the way it's probably going to go in the future. Well, you always need proper professional kit, you know. But um, <laughs> it's, a, it's the first page of the photographer's yeah. handbook, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You get a big camera. Lie. Then you'll think just, you're just says, <laughs> it just says lie. Yeah, yeah. Just no, tell no, no, you no. need a big camera. Yeah. Not, not at all. The bigger the, the camera, the bigger the photographer. Yeah, yeah. Bigger the camera, you the bigger the lie. You whip out your big lens. You whip out your big lens. Lenses and uh, likes, and everybody goes, Oh, well, he must be worth it then. <laughs> so, you know, don't really need that stuff, but anyway, it's good, it looks good when you're kicking about. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I went in there and I didn't lie, it wasn't a lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just it hadn't, I hadn't, I hadn't, the I hadn't 100% got set up yet, but you know, yeah. so uh, I said, Yeah, yeah, this, I can do all that. And then they're like, Nick, the week after, I thought I've probably blown that, but then they got a call, they said, No, okay, first uh, lot will send to you. Next week, and I was like, that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so they they asked they asked for the the address of the studio, or whatever, and I said, and I was living in uh, a flat, top floor flat in the three A, three A, and uh, did you get this into your flat? I top did. floor, top <laughs> floor left. Well, I was there, uh, so they get sent. But I didn't know that it was going to be like. <coughs> I just thought it would be a delivery driver and that, but the actual marketing uh, girl came with the stuff and she was like, uh, phoned my phone and it's like, uh, we're outside a bunch of flats here. And I, I was like, yeah, I'm just come down. And she's like, oh, right, what's going on here? And I was like, oh, it's just here temporary. I'll take uh, tomorrow. I'm shipping. And I humped all, this, humped all this stuff up to the top stairs. I, I took down the kitchen table and, and I had a kitchen, uh, sort of open plan kitchen, took the table down. And set up as a studio, and for the first, and then. So, who did you get a model in to shoot in your kitchen? Well, there was some product stuff I was shooting, and then there was a bit of model stuff, and then. <laughs> he, and was, then he was and the then, model. You're not uh, on timer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on timer. Yeah. He's running round. And, and then, uh, and then, and then, I finally got a, a temporary space um, in Glasgow. Uh, for a month and I then I, and, it, and I started going then I, I looked for another space which is, is that where you are now? I think for yeah, like young yeah. young Good, entrepreneurs or business people it's like it's just showing like how much you have to wing it at, at the beginning I think everyone's the same like we Everybody's were obviously the same, same. we you winged it like it. You, yeah. you've yeah. obviously yeah. gone away I think like to get like a nobody really I knows what they're doing at the start yeah. so everyone's just kind of like so Step sort of fake it till you make it a little bit of thing like yeah. I can do that and then you go yeah. and sort of I don't think there's a way of jumping the gun without going spending loads of money yeah, you can't jump you, you can, just can't jump the gun you don't have a lot of money at that point no. and you no. know if you're approaching big companies they can expect a certain level of yeah. professionalism yeah. <laughs> which was you didn't have <laughs> I didn't have and I'm still, <laughs> faked it. still looking for it to be honest with you uh, anyway you know I did that and I turned it around and I got a, a place temporary for, for, a, for a month or something and then I moved out of there and got this this other place which was a massive step because it was um you know there was overheads for me yeah. rent and things mm -hmm. you know and this sure. contract had to 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 go the distance which it did you know i was see just see just while you say that that's something obviously me and steven went through is like we moved out of the flat to a big unit mm -hmm. and it was like oh, i don't know it was like 
was it like a thousand pound a month or something? Yeah, which is which is massive. Yeah. To start we actually, with. we actually we actually got help from like the the local yeah, Glasgow the council. City Council. Yeah, yeah. They, but we're humming and on about yeah, a wee bit. Yeah, yeah but yeah. for the first year they like supplement uh, supplement your rent. Yeah. To be fair, I don't know if they'll still do that now. But I think what a start it was like yeah. for us too. But yeah. that was to take that, that jump as did well. You, did you have, do you have that same sort of feeling like oh, what? Guys, it's a big thing to undertake. But like, yeah, it was never. You just end up having to do it, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it was nerve wracking. And then you get the keys to this place, and then you have you have to pay the rent every month, and and other things that go with it when you take on a premise. You know, like, that can be a bit of a kick up the arse as well. Can it, it was like, a I kick need, up the arse. I need to go and get jobs and yeah. to pay this rent. That's know? that. Yeah, so that that's what it was like. And and. Did you yeah. find it slow at the beginning after that, or was it a case of like, well, I'm working with Slater, so well, I had put that was a good out. contract to have, you know, like mm. so I had that going, and uh, so was that a contract that you got to start with, like? Well, yeah, it was kind of rolling, you, a, yeah, you know, yeah. and but the only thing is, you didn't know quite as what you were going to get. You could get a sort of rough idea of what you were going to get every month, and. Um, when you're starting out on your own, you can it takes up a lot of your time. So it's yeah, like you want to get other business in and stuff yeah. like that, but it's quite difficult. But no, it, what, yeah, it kept what, going. See, what benefits have you found over the years of like working for yourself in comparison with actually like say that say the film studio was like a nine to five job is like yeah. what oh, benefits are you, you are you seeing f- over time? Like you get freedom, don't you? It's yeah. like you're, you're your own boss, so you can you, you know it's hard at times because you do question yourself at times like am I doing the right thing is this what, what you know is this the angle what I go sometimes you um, end up working more than you think you're gonna but then you uh, can get that time back somewhere else you do it's a great thing to work for yourself Western like, Gales says yeah. he's yeah, we still not had that golf day yeah, have we I don't worry I'm trying to sort it out <laughs> <laughs> how many years has that been oh, eight, Jesus. eight it's years it's gonna be epic don't when we get there I can't, honestly can't <laughs> wait it's gonna be it's gonna can't be wait <laughs> like, it's on, we recorded that now recorded yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. so you want to take yeah. that one yeah. 2000 15, he die. promised us Western right, Gales. Uh, for can, a, well, we can a do a golf. podcast and say that you finally got a game in. <laughs> That's then. why I brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's when he's doing on the podcast, <laughs> Gal. <laughs> anyway, moving, <laughs> moving on from that. <laughs> nah, obviously, you've been on a lot of photo shoots with Be oh, yeah. Inspired. Yep, yep. Um, Dubai, Miami, We've all got grey hair over the years. Oh, we didn't used to have any grey hair when we first started. Not, not. Which, which no. is your favourite shoot you've been on? Do you know what? Location obviously, ones. we were talking about doing this and... I he starts he start to remember a lot of uh, the places that you've been to, but one that seems to stuck in my mind the most and it just pips the post probably is Chicago for some reason. Oh, that was class. I, I said that, that before. Really Did you say I don't that? Know why really that stuck in my head? I don't know why. I mean, you know, it wasn't particularly. You know, the the weather wasn't. You know, no. sunny and great. And I I've been to places with I you guys. Like Chicago was pretty epic. No, down in the water. Uh, like that's, uh, that's exactly what I was saying. Just like I remember going over the bridge and I'm just like, this is unreal. Yeah, like, the place was like. I, was I really enjoyed so that cool. shit. Yeah, I had a really good, good laugh in that one. Right down the front as well, at the water with the wind we got in the morning, early in the morning we cool place, shooting the jackets, going over the, uh, going over the road and stuff like that as well. And yeah, it's it was probably great, like the first yeah. time we had like a big jackets collection. That's right. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah because probably the first time we were like, it felt like a big brand. We had like jackets and tra- like yeah. had a bit of everything. Didn't we? we had the, yeah, we had everything. Yeah, previously we'd be buying like jackets that would be like you would almost go down to a wholesaler and buy. A pack. Well, yeah. a pack. We only did jackets. We only did jackets once the year before. Yeah. And it was only it was like a, a red small jacket. collection. Yeah. Yeah. If you remember Chicago, correctly, yeah, yeah. Max Hamilton yeah. Yeah. Uh, was wearing the red jacket. We shot, and I think that just oh, went out so, yeah. so many. Yeah. 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 For like a few years, solid two or three years, we we sold that jacket over. Yeah, right. it, was just based, made, it was based off that probably yeah. that one foot, like one yeah. foot in Chicago, yeah. wasn't it? One oh, foot was walking mad. across the street. There was a little flash of sun That's across. That's right. There's a little oh, yeah, fire. Oh, you know when you talk about it, you can remember the shots almost like yeah. in it's my amazing. head I can remember the shots yeah. like see, where I was sitting what angle was that what the light was like the ones that I remember was when we shot I was sitting lower there was a kind of concrete kind of like blo- boulevard uh, not uh, boulevard, boulevard what, it goes out like, yeah. not up here but yeah kind of mm. walkway wasn't it sun was coming up and we lit over it the, over there over the 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 skyscrapers. Yeah, skyscrapers. We shot a few of them, and they, they're they're still epic to this ah, day. When I look at them, well, I that's what it's saying. Even when you, you look at like them now, once man. you've taken the photos, we go back. Like we've got these on file. Like yeah. going back to looking, it's like our tenth birthday this year. So uh, you'll bring all those type of photos uh, out. I put them all like, back. Some of them will look a bit vintage, but I mean they look still yeah, kind of standard. It's uh, amazing standard how it's the time. Like how how have you seen the brand change over the years oh, as it well? Changed, it's changed a lot. Not like you know ethos behind being inspired and what you guys have created and everybody involved in it's created is still there 
and I think um, that's why we all kind of get on to a certain point uh, quite course, well, you know. Um, but you know, yeah, it's not like a big mad production team. Not massive. Got here. Like, no. There's Ryan, Cairo, yeah, us three. That's yeah, it. Yeah. And then we bring two models with us. It's yeah. not like we're we're like. It's not like a big massive production. And we've got like a mad production yeah. team with us. It's all we've always kept it quite tight. Like we that. have kept it tight. We went a wee bit big when we went to Tokyo. Remember oh, that? Yeah, that was my We right. took like right. four models. Four models. Hairdresser. 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 Yeah, videographers. Yeah, Everything I, yeah, that and was that was hard work, wasn't it? That was probably it? Like, we did say that, in the last that was podcast. probably too too much. Like yeah. Tokyo was epic. It was like, actually it was a beautiful place, and to actually take a photo shoot to Tokyo was yeah. like, wow, that's amazing. But looking back, it was probably a bit. We didn't really need to do it. Um, probably it not. Probably got a bit out of hand with like four models and all these people yeah. floating about and. Um, Especially yeah. when there's only one photographer, four models, and a video guy. Like yeah. you, you've literally got two guys kind of sitting oh, about uh, doing nothing yeah. at times. So that's why we've kind of since then it's like one and two models. Yeah, you just get the work done. Get it. You do. You get yeah, it, get through it. And yeah, it's I hard work. The, the, the time scale it took to get there as well. I think it was uh, a I, lag, it's a hard place to get around yeah. Tokyo. It was good. Hey, well, listen, no, it was, some I'm not saying it wasn't, it wasn't great. It's amazing. probably up there in my top three, to be honest with you. Yeah. Chicago. It's because the photos look so different as well. They like, do. Aye. Could, it's a different get... texture, different vibe you get off of the Tokyo oh, that, ones. Remember that wee street that had all those sort of wee lanterns down? That's okay. the one that sticks Of course I remember that, man. Street, I was down there all day shooting. Uh, it wasn't nice, but the photos looked aye. amazing, didn't we, they? And then had we all went, these wee restaurants that you went upstairs and it was like somebody's living room. We went back for the grub there, didn't aye. we, that night? And we, it was well, we went challenging. For like, no, to be fair, we went for like noodle soup or something. That was class. Noodle, aye, but then we went up. We went another night and it was like up somebody's like stairway. God knows we... You obviously know that. I'm, pretty, I'm no fussy, but I'll not eat some of the things that you just try. Oh, oh, yeah. well, we end up in somebody's living room, room, mate. I, we were in I remember coming up the stairs yeah. and looking, and you're eating chicken balls or something. I was chicken like, balls, that's for sure. I, I, I was like, wasn't I, I it wasn't the, the, the Chinese in Glasgow. It was, uh, it was the genuine chicken balls. But you know, when you're in Tokyo, you've got to try the chicken balls, seemingly. So we get fired in and give it a try. And we won't be back, that's for sure. It was you used to in Kets, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And who's Somebody else was there actually. Was that, was Dre there? Uh, Drew was there. Ah, oh, Drew. That's who um, it was. Drew. And yeah, who else? No, was see, it? What, see one thing when you're taking a photo. Do you know like oh, I've nailed that? Picture. Like see like uh, obviously we do it when we look through the pictures yeah, after. Like yeah. oh, that's a great picture. That's a great picture. That product's going to sell easily. Do you when you take the photo go? Ah, that's I've yeah, nailed you do. that picture. You always back it up by taking enough to make sure that you don't have I think, I somebody think if blinking get, or doing yeah, whatever yeah. so yeah but you, you know once you've done enough that you think you know that I've got one in there that's I, I know I can work with I think if as a brand if we could work that far in advance where we could actually do the photos before we actually place the orders yeah honestly like I, I think so it's good. almost it can you can yeah. almost go that's a winner that's a winner yeah, that's yeah, a winner yeah. especially with the data we've collected of yeah. what customers are buying and what's it's on trend it's funny as well though because you'll, you'll maybe make a product or you'll have products so it'll come in you but like, that looks class that looks like, but you can't get a good photo of it but then there's other products mm, you, sure. you can't yeah. take a bad photo of it yeah, so and you true. just know that product's going to sell aye definitely but, uh, it's good. so your top three places that we've shot in the past what how many years eight years or something like that seven uh, years well, I, yeah. top three so Chicago for me one Chicago's up there second aye. I would have to say for me it's another American one it's aye, probably aye. Miami aye, Miami Miami yeah. Miami's good <laughs> <laughs> Remember I fell out. Remember I fell out. You know what was good? Going was, the last night. Yeah. See if anybody wants to check out the like the the vlog of Miami that that oh, Andrea has made. It's like eleven it's class, minutes man. long. Honestly, I can watch uh, that over yeah. and over and over again. It just excites me that I'm like. These again, are my memories. We, again, we went big on that as well. Big, we got yeah, four man. models. We flew yeah. models in from Didn't hold back. Didn't hold back on that one. And great guy. <laughs> Didn't hold back on that one. Jet Adam skis. Great guy. Uh, with jet skis. It was uh, Jeeps. You had the, remember the we were down and boys are still on the Coronas, actually. Remember we had the Corona, corona cocktail? Aye. Remember aye, me, right, me and you had the big bowl. See if we can get a photograph <laughs> and pop it in to show you no, what we're talking about. That's on the video. It's on the video. It's on the vlog. It's on the vlog. So. You I feature prominently on the vlog as well. I know actually. I was getting involved. Absolute star of the show. Isn't keeping it? the morale going, you know, keeping it's it like upbeat. An inspired employee or like a member that's been in the company for so long that's not actually employed. Uh, it's no got shares. Yeah, yeah. No shares. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, yeah. can we talk about that? No, <laughs> nah, what you've been telling us today, you your dad could buy them. Uh, no, 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 dad could buy them if you want. No, no. <laughs> Uh, oh, but yeah, so so my, Chicago, Miami, Thailand and for me is just Thailand. because I knew like obviously where we were going okay. and stuff like that. It's yeah. just like PP Island. PP I was thinking Tokyo in third epic. place, but now when we talk about it, I mean, yeah, PP Island was epic. Remember the 
uh, we got the speedboat fast yeah. track to that on the, the island. Uh, Maybe we have to go out on the tractor to start with. There was the wee That's tractor right, that picked aye. you up on the island because we were staying on the other side. So you yeah. come in, normally you would come, if anybody that's been to PP Island, you come in on the boat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then park up, and then you have to get like the little long boat round the back. I think it was just because it was a bay, though, wasn't it? Because it was a bay, the yeah. water went out, and you just yeah. had to drive That's out. And, and There's no like, way of getting off. It's like a mile, a mile on a tractor. Ah, it was but we, uh, that was a decision made in the sea uh, a night before mm -hmm. because we turned up at a hotel that we thought the beach uh, in the area would be and perfectly Piquet. We fine went to Piquet, didn't we? For what we needed, but, but then the beach actually wasn't paradise, <laughs> was it? And you guys were sort of twitching a wee bit because it was it was there was a Big great. cost, and then we just said, Right, everybody. I was a good because Ross was well, Ross Warswick was on that Ross show, Ross Warswick yeah. and, and uh, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Edmund, yeah. that was a good show, though. And uh, we just said, we Right, all the models. imagine we all the models that we'd done the Talk shoots were right. all in the same room, room. like God. I think it'd be a good laugh. They may uh, slaughter me and you, though, so that might not be uh, so good. Yeah, we'll, we'll maybe leave that, <laughs> but then we, 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 we got up the next day, and you just said, Right, boys, packing off for a couple of days, we're going to PPI Island to shoot, and we stayed in some. I think we're very off the cuff, I remember. You'll say that, Gav, we have it. I, the two of us are very off the cuff Aye. like yeah. we, we've we, we've booked this place to do the shoot but yeah. like we could wake up tomorrow and say come on guys we're going to it's not even uh, off, uh, off the cuff though Robert it's probably like if we'd come here and this shoot wasn't going the way we'd want to yeah. we'd just change we'd it just change and like it. we yeah. are we are quite like that like see if we're not happy with something we'll just change it can be reactive though that's well, a, good maybe a good thing or a yeah. bad thing do you mean because sometimes I've got used to that over the years I've pulled out my bed man jumped on a bus somewhere that didn't it wasn't part of the we don't I don't have a production sort of like Dubai we're driving in the desert the yeah. day let's go yeah. desert in the Dubai that's one of my favourite Leon lost his, left his toilet bag on oh, top of the car. That was a sore one. Uh, wasn't it? <laughs> that was a sore one. First day, to be fair, he barred out in the I desert. Did, he, was, uh, he cracked he was, on. I didn't, didn't bother him. But that was that was a tough, tough situation. How do you find it working with models that are maybe difficult to work with? Like, how do you deal with that? It's like <laughs> there's not been many. There's not been many. There's not been many. I mean, you know, everybody yeah, has their down times and up times in photo shoot, especially if you're all together for like three or four days or longer. In some well, cases, I think we found that in Tokyo with it, when we had the oh, was hard. There was a couple of lads were were bickering and Aye. They no, I, I do think that was to do a jet lag, and obviously a we had a wee night out, and that we did really have a wee night out, didn't we? Midweek session. It was a bit three nights. Yeah. Whiskey. Oh, Aye, whiskey o'clock. We did say you cool, did say you got to try the the whiskey over. Tokyo. Yeah, so there was. Ah, that, I don't think. Look, yeah, look I think there was, was not any model I've worked with that I wouldn't even want to work with again. They were all sound. I think yeah. they're all just like us, just try to get by and make a bit of a living. Do you know what I mean? And, and everybody's got personalities, way. and you just got to learn how to work your way around it. You know, like yeah. that's what you do. You know, I'm there to do my job, and uh, you know, and I know what I need to do. But if somebody's not playing up to it, then you kind of you just try and work out a way that they, they're a bit more. Kind of like engaging with you and stuff how, like that. How have you, know? you found over the years, see, like the whole social media thing with, with photography and stuff, like all the filters and editing well, that's come in? It's changed. Like, Do you feel it's made it more competitive for you or has it opened up doors for you? Uh, I don't think, I think everybody can take a good photograph now, you know, like I'm not saying, you know, but there's an element of like when there's a lot of pressure on this type of setup, there's a lot of money spent on it and people involved and a lot of people can go out and take photographs without pressure mm. you know like because you get the t all the time in the world yeah, to take that yeah, one epic yeah. shot but when you're yeah, working your collection when you're working on a photo shoot yeah, and sure. you get clients that want a whole collection shot really nicely well, at the end of the day we're shooting right now we're shooting for like the <laughs> remainder of this month yeah. may june and it's got to get you through sales the whole summer yeah, yeah it's, it's got to get you through sales uh, I think about that. That's mm -hmm. something I think about when I'm working with clients uh, in a business sense, you mm -hmm. know, not in a creative sense, because there's cre creative, there's business, and there's, there's all these aspects that go into doing what I do. But um, yeah, people can take great, some uh, photos that are on phones are great, mm -hmm. um, but you know. I think there's a lot of different types of photography, though, isn't it? Like there? Like an, an Insta would go on and take a nice Instagram picture. Yeah. But like you say, they've probably got one outfit. One outfit. They take hundreds and hundreds of photos. Two hours to do it. And then they edit them. And then yeah. it's like, well, you've got a great picture there. But like you say, product photography and like location shoot Aye. photography is, yeah. is a different thing. It's yeah. challenging. Yeah. We asked us to do as well. It's like, do you enjoy social media? Like the... Yeah. 
like I obviously for like follow visual aspect on <laughs> like on Instagram I and don't stuff do much like that. Social but media. Do you, you enjoy social media, but you don't partake in social media as much, or do you like? No, I don't. I mean, I'm quite watching what's going on. I, I watch what's going on. Obviously, you I know. I think everybody watches. Yeah, I think everybody on. watches. I think I think everybody, don't, everybody does. Uh, like, I'm not. I'm not particularly. Um, you know, busy on social media, yeah. you know, which is probably maybe, a, you know, you should be in a business sense for me. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, I let, I let everybody you else... Your content's kinda, there, like, once you've yeah. got the photos, then, like, you yeah. should really be posting them. A lot of the photos are on clients' Instagram, yeah. you know, that I've got yeah. th- uh, yeah, thousands and hundreds of thousands of followers. So, you know, like, I let that crack on. But, um, yeah, I post stuff now and then. But, you know, social media is an interesting beast and it changes all the time. No, I've not okay. dabbled in the old TikTok Not yet. dabbled in that yet, no. Guys, no. Well, Dang actually, I, we've always had to kind of evolve the business. That's yeah, what we've yeah. had to do. So going from, like, starting at tic- Twitter to moving Facebook, Instagram. Uh, Facebook is, was the big one for yeah, you guys. Facebook yeah, Facebook was massive still big Yeah, it's still a big I think platform. we said that, that, said that last week. I think, like, Facebook and then Instagram came along. We maybe missed out on jumping on Instagram as quickly as we yeah, should yeah. have because... We, Facebook was so so big for us, yeah. and then a lot of brands probably started on Insta. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And then TikTok's come along, so we, like we're not making that mistake again. We've jumped on TikTok, and with the street style and the yeah. stuff we do, that's really blown up. So yeah, it just I think there's for a brand. I don't know about a photographer. I think it'll be a different situation. But for a yeah. brand, obviously, you've got to really have your eye on all the social. Yeah, media and what's I going agree on. with but you on that. I, again, I don't know. I don't know how a photographer would. Again, you could probably do stuff on TikTok to like e- how you edit your pictures or how you can uh, probably, it'd probably really do well for yeah, you. Yeah, it's more it's an just, educational yeah, thing for yeah, uh, yeah. my game, I suppose. People want to see what, mm. how people, yeah. what kit they use, how they do yeah, it, you know, the, really the, way, the, the way they like, behave. The, yeah, like, no, so, see, mm, process, you know. like, posting, like, before you go on the trip is like going on social media and saying, like, oh, this is what I've got to take, this is what yeah. I'm doing. Actually, like, almost like a day in the life. Yeah. Like, what is the day in the life of a photographer? Yeah, like, maybe I should do one then. I think you should do I'd one. I'd like to see like, a day I'd in like the life of Gav. It's almost like, the not particularly the photographer, just the Gav. Yeah. I think that would yeah. be an interesting day <laughs> in the life of the Gavla. Good, uh, yeah. Could be interesting, but, uh, yeah, I'll see. Maybe this is a year for TikTok, for Visual Aspect. What's, what's next for Gavla and Visual Aspect? Keep a few nicknames. Out, you've, had a few, you. you've had a few nicknames over the years. I know we've yeah. had a few nicknames. Uh, yeah. uh, you speak German as well, don't you? Well, I don't like to brag about it. To <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to go on about it. We're not, we're not, we're not going there, Robo. We're not going there. We cab in and hamster. <laughs> It's just handy when you, uh, you get a conversation going with you. in Germany. Just a German person. Das ist gut, as always. <laughs> das ist gut. Yeah, 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 that's how Spaniard. you and Tommy Hay uh, well, we kicked off. Converse, Fluent so, yeah. German oh, with him. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, it was good Tommy fun. had a few good stories. He was an interesting character, oh, Tommy. I mean, you? how many. I mean, I mean, who's, who's the most interesting model you've met? Like, the, the one that's. I'll tell left you what, the one lasting totally impression. shattered my confidence uh, was when you guys seemed to put me in a uh, room up with. With Max Hamilton, who looks like <laughs> he looks like he looks, he looks like a Greek god, basically. <laughs> I reckon you should. And I would it. be coming out the shower, sc- scratching my belly, and he'd be at the uh, window with the light coming through with his six pack <laughs> that morning. And I'd be like, did you? Did you? <laughs> fuck it. Did you come home and think about a few things? I used to come home yeah, and think, nah, I am that? shit. <laughs> Gav, you'll have to tell the story about an Ibiza, the, the Ibiza trip. Oh, oh, Ibiza trip. That was, a, it was probably that was amazing. That, that was probably good. the best experience no, that ever. Was good. That was. A small team because it was just me. It was us. It was, it was just us, us three me. and Max. And Max. Uh, we and met to be me. fair, surely that got your confidence back. Tell the yeah. truth what happened. Well, so, <laughs> aye, so, we, so Max turned up, good looking chap, and uh, then every second shot that I was taking, I could see him kind of doing something like that with his mouth, and I'm like, after a, an hour or so of doing that, I was like, What's Max? Is there you get something in your mouth? You get chewing gum or something like that? And he's like, Oh no, I, get, I can't really do his London. <laughs> what's it, how's, his, how's his accent going? He's not from Ireland anyway, that's for sure. Where's he from? I was going to do a London accent. Max Hamilton. <laughs> Max Hamilton. He's not from Ireland. <laughs> he, uh, he's from London, so it's like, uh, I wouldn't do the London accent. I'll save myself on that one. But uh, he said, Oh, that was just about to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's like that with tooth like that. And I was, he said, "Is my tooth is kind of wobbly? I think it's going to fall out. It's needing was to go crown, to was that a, crown, a crown or something yeah. like that." And I'm like, "All right, well, hopefully it just holds on." Ah, said, did not say he was in Thailand. He was in like Thai box, and the boy caught him. Is that right? I don't <laughs> I know. know. That's, yeah, I can't remember that story, but it was definitely wobbling. That's for sure. Because every shot, every second shot, it was like that. So then. <laughs> 
We managed to get through the whole bit. It was, it was a struggle in the last day, wasn't it? It was yeah, really, really, I think it was that pop. It was dangling out like that, and I'm like, can you push it back in for a <laughs> couple of last teas that we need to do? <laughs> After shooting 30,000 of them or something yeah. like that. Uh, just come on, just we'll get it done. So we got it done, and uh, we said, right, we've, we've all smashed it today. Um, we've we're managed. Having a rap party. We're having a rap party. It was a small team. Uh, so we went to taste. Was it Shire? Shire. 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 A table at Shire. 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 What a memory. It's amazing. Shire. Shire. It was a good good night. And uh, so we went there and we were all getting on it and drinking and stuff like that. And, uh, our confidence is an all time low at this point. Our confidence is low. We're just like there big with man. a shirt and butt. Big man, 10 out of 10. We're like 6 out of 10. Nobody was looking at us. Not nah, even not anybody. Even close, the hair, not even yeah. somebody with a squint was looking at us, man. <laughs> <laughs> they were looking at Max no matter what. Anyway, what did they do? We were all jumping about. Bands about a song, weren't they? And they. And he went, oh, he came up to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> came up to us. I think it was, it was somebody going to meet up with him or something like that, but I don't know if that's... You know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, and he came up and he said, all right, go on. I said, what? All right, my... F- Tooth falling out. <laughs> it was and really, he looked at us and he had this he big gap. He was really turned and he smiled and he had a big massive gap for it. I knew it. Oh. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Yes. He's, he's in back to your six uh, and it's almost like his whole face, face changed as soon as his tooth came out. Uh, I went downhill for him that night. Did not try to stick it with chewing gum? Maybe he got chewing gum on his I picked up a bit of chewing gum thinking it was his tooth and he's like, no, that's We've got any more stories. I feel podcasts get excited now. This is the real gav come out now. Probably. So uh, as soon as that happened, nobody was looking at him, and it was uh, we were all on e- equal level. Where yeah, we? I would say that. Yeah, nah, he's still better than us. Nah, still better than us. I think I'm just bigging that up. Tooth. But yeah, that was funny. The tooth. He <clears throat> managed to right, keep right, it man. in there, but it was dipping out for right, a few so shots. Yeah, like see, no, he definitely put got chewing gum and different put it in the models. Whole so many different yeah. personalities with the models. A nice like, guy though. He was a nice guy. Yeah, he's a good good uh, model. Oh, as different. Well. Good everyone's model. got a different personality. Like, even like working with Johnny for Johnny Edlin Johnny. for so long. Johnny was probably like from a social media point of view was the highest profile. Mm. He was probably um, he was probably like uh, like our most successful model. Wasn't yeah, he? The one we I'd used for the longest period. He really he really worked for our brand and stuff. The clothes yeah, off I remember the back being in it. Tokyo and like people approaching him in the street. Mm-hmm. We were in like the girls came up to me just coming up to him. Pure, like, yeah. we we just couldn't girls believe it. Crying when yeah, they seen like, him. And for That's right. guys who don't don't know Johnny or, or <laughs> like just guys off the street, like I, like I found that a bit weird. So how do they know? Like, uh, yeah. like I think people think like a million followers. It must be loads of people. Did the guy not say? Did the guy not say he was like like in Tokyo? They look at like hair or like. Tutorial. Is, it, is it no hair it's tutorials? Hair, hair Instagrams and he obviously your class Beckham sort of type fringe guy. wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, he had a few different hairstyles uh, over the time. Yeah, the time. Yeah, nice, but yeah, no, he was around for for a long time. It's, it's mate Andreas. Is it, uh, wait, is it Andreas? Let's talk about Gavin Dre. Gavin yeah. Dre was one of the famous. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Joe's on there. We worked with him for a good few years. Well, at the start, he wasn't really doing any video for, for, for Be Inspired. And he, then was, he was Johnny's videographer. He was Johnny's he? videographer, so he would go on trips with Johnny, and he was a good laugh. Andreas, he's a good laugh, he's good fun. He and proper inspired probably a couple of the boys in our yeah. team. Yeah. Like he's a very good videographer. Biz, he's like, busy, probably inspired Biz. Yeah. He, I thought doing. I inspired Biz though, but I don't know if Biz was. Biz, that was Biz, your last bit. Biz, your last Biz, bit. Biz, no, that was when he was doing like the photography, but now he's moved on to video. He's ah, yeah. 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 So he's been drop kicked as he's... Uh, yeah. Oh, it's oh, 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 voice in the background, yeah. It's the first time I've heard him speak in about a few weeks. So. He's usually mute. But uh, <laughs> aye, Andres, <laughs> then he's. All oh, right. Oh, 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 it's kick, oh, kicking oh, off. It's oh, kicking oh, off. Oh, anyway, we'll leave you alone, Buzz. Okay. Aye, so Andres, and then he was the one that shot. Was the first one you decided to sort of book him when you when you knew he was going to Miami yeah, with Johnny? Yeah, I think so. And he yeah. shot I think, the Miami I think, stuff. Could, I think we'd say because we had four models going, we wanted to create like a like almost this campaign video, like a story, yeah. like a story, of, like campaign yeah. video. The first time we did it. videos like that, it was just product videos we'd done, but we kind of tried yeah. to do like a sort of brand lifestyle. Sort of and I think I yeah. think that type of video is maybe hard to do with a small team because it yeah. like we'd try and do like photos, video, yeah. all in the one the yeah, one, one day with it. 
almost Aye. needed its own it day in itself. Because yeah. remember, yeah. they had them text. There was text, text, and, and then yeah, the meeting up. That was a class video. That was a class was. video. I you, got left in the car. You get left in the car for that day. Aye, yeah. but I still got patched. You brilliant. got patched, and then they were out jet skiing for two hours. You sat a burger or something in the car, just looking out the window. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't a great day. No, but I so yeah, he was around. Was that the first? That was the first shoot in Miami. Andreas came on. Yeah, and then he shot stuff. We done stuff in Glencoe that he. He came Thank up cool. with. Remember, he came up with um, a cool advert in London. It was like the London sort of was cool. jackets. That That's was right. um, Switzerland. That was Switzerland. when you were singing in the, the, the old chair lift thing. Was was Gavin Drey. Uh, you started your own Instagram. What we was did. it? Gavin Drey. Uh, Gavin Drey. I don't know if it's still up. I if it is still up, I'm if anybody's check. listening, please. Check. Start following. <laughs> I'm done in for a while. But I wouldn't follow. There's not much going on there. What was it? Gavin Drey. Gavin Drey. I don't know if he's still got it up, but. Do you think you'll get into any video like that, or do you think they're just stills? Well, I think it's that's the natural progression, isn't it? I mean, I think, you know, when I speak to clients now, you know, it's like, can you 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 offer both? So it might be a case that you just... Is that how you're going to bring visual aspect in? Well, yeah, I might. I don't know, he's a bit busy, isn't he? He's He's in the sauna all the time and that. (laughs) <laughs> too busy he's got a miss isn't ah, he's got a missus now so he might not be allowed out much but, but uh, like the, sort of, the next sort of progression it is. People, do, do people ask for that as well like, yeah they're looking for that and then you know uh, you know shooting the studio if you're doing product online it's you know I people want to see it in the video as yeah, well we found still, video obviously for us has been yeah, massive it's, been over, big, I, it's almost like taking what you do in a, in a still but bringing it to life yeah, and the yeah. two work hand in hand to be do, honest. Uh, I don't think you can have one without the other really I, I don't think, think so that's I think it's a, can, definitely but, a need for both you know yeah. like because you can really show the product quite nicely as a still and you can use that in different formats and marketing and then Video can be used mm. and really sell well, it's the like, product. Uh, it's it? like being an online business. Like that's yeah. our shop window. Yeah, like yeah. The, those images yeah. that people come on from the adverts into the into the website. It's yeah. like that's how we sell product. That's it. Those, and those photos are so important. That yeah, it is like having a mannequin in the window, and it's like that's, that's people it. want it. They, people make that an instant decision if they want to buy that or not or yep. off the basis of that. Maybe people are like oh, I like that, I like that, and they see it and see it again. Like. Yeah. I'm going to buy that. You've got to show it nice. so many different ways because the people are quick now with the content. So you see it for like once it's put up, they want to see it maybe again, but in a different setting, video or a different angle or, you know, so yeah. that's, you know, that's the way it's working. It's to try and sell that product. Yeah. Have you, do you work for any, have you done anything other than like e-com sort of, uh, like clothing or anything? Have you done anything? What's the interest in sort of photography you've done? Eh, uh, it's mainly retail, so you know, mainly dealing with models in the studio and location. Any like high end campaigns or anything like that? Products, done some com- campaigns um, that have been for billboards and likes and That's different cool. settings. For... That must be quite nice if you saw it. That's nice. Mm-hmm. I think, and uh, even like that, print isn't really around much anymore. I always buzz off of seeing my photographs in print like say if it was like GQ or something magazine like yeah, uh, cool. actually just recently I don't want to name drop but Kerrang magazine remember that oh, magazine yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that they the, the had a lot of images I shot in Kerrang magazine so I was quite That's buzzing cool. off yeah, of that did you buy the I got it in the uh, toilet it sits in the toilet so yeah, it's nice. good read you know <laughs> what kind of thing what kind of stuff away do you do away from obviously work what yeah what are you interested are you still that's a good question. Sport. You're not wine, smoking you're cigars. Not, you're yeah. not yeah. time. Yeah, you're not into sport. Wine, smoking cigars. <laughs> uh, just family time, mate. To be honest with you, you know what I mean. And um, yeah, tra- traveling, just seeing, you know, going to different places and enjoying, enjoying life as much as I can. But yeah, bit of a wine club, yeah, bit of golf now and then. Wouldn't More so know. now Wouldn't these days. Know. What's that? I've never seen you play. I know, I know. That's why I'm actually dreading you getting you down at Western <laughs> Gales. To say. I'll probably bless him. Me and Coke's talking. I'd probably fluff game. it. The, the, the yeah, f- brilliant. I don't know about you. No, nah, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's um, yeah. So, but no, it's been an epic journey so far, um, and I just, I'm, you know, it's exciting to see how 
far it goes. Where, where are we going to go next, Gav? That's the question. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. All these epic photos. Where's the next epic photo shoot? Right, that's a good question. So let's talk about that. Let's think about it. Las what? Vegas, there you go. Vegas. You've not done good. Vegas. Nah, what, Vegas for all winter? Good, to be fair. No, oh, hot, yeah. no I'm saying summer, that, yeah, yeah, maybe use it for... You're like, thinking top-up shooting in shoot June or something. No, no. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, I'll run that past the Well, you're talking about the next one, so like open winter, what would you do well, for just open winter? Yeah, next epic I think you've never done Vegas. You've done New York. We've done New York a couple of times, which has been quite epic as well. Where would be good for an autumn winter shoot? Canada. 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 We've done Toronto. Toronto. Street style and Canada. stuff. Uh, the girl Aye. in Canada. Vancouver um, or Toronto? Vancouver. Did you see the videos? Yeah, yeah I saw that, yeah. yeah. Vancouver's not yeah. class, yeah. Place, to be, be class, yeah. So Vancouver could be... Uh, but you know, you've never shot in Paris. Yeah, we've never. Quite good. Which quite is good in Berlin. Yeah, uh, talking yeah, about European countries. Yeah, Milan. Sure. What's that? Milan. Where have you found the Milan. toughest place to shoot? Oh. When I mean, you think about, like... The heat in Thailand. I know I said it was one of my favourite ones, but that? like Thailand was Switzerland. Sw- well, Switzerland. Switzerland. Was I don't was know how you get talked into that because we ended up in like like a sort of a car park. That was sure. well, why? Because it was raining, so we shot a whole collection in and Zurich. Shot like the car top park. of the mountain with no, no visibility. Well, no, it was, was actually visibility. it was actually colder. Like, what, and, for me to you? No, oh, we couldn't. <laughs> I got this right at the top. Aye, right at the top was. Do you not remember it was colder in Glasgow than it was in Zurich, Switzerland when we were over there? But yeah, Switzerland was challenging going up yeah. a mountain in the snow because, you know, it was putting on skinny jeans and stuff like that and a pair of trainers up a, <laughs> right. up we, a mountain that's had a blizzard. I think we had, like, a I know, we had a vision. I think we had a vision of the jackets, right. but then that was like 10 jackets. Once I you remember. shot the jackets, like, <laughs> what, the, what, the, how the, the fuck are you shooting skinny jeans and a t-shirt? Lance Kelly had a, had a polo shirt with a zip, right? <laughs> in the middle of a chair, mountain. In the middle of a mountain with a chairlift <laughs> behind them where a bobble hat on. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, what, yeah, we that was, what are we doing up here? And then, yeah. we, went, well, then we were like, ah, right, fuck out, doing what we usually do. This isn't working, let's change, let's drive to... Where was it? Zurich? Well, I think we had Zurich planned in for well, a day, but the rain oh, was right, torrential. Yeah, last day was torrential. So we rain. pulled into this underground car park. Shot, <laughs> <laughs> shot. Sure, sure. And we, we shot a whole collection. Oh, oh, winter collection. And, and I was not expecting that. Uh, Talk about <laughs> pressure, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, I car really park have... inspired. We're oh, going to change our There has been some seriously pressurised moments <laughs> like you know like just here let's do it and you're like ah. what do we do with this man There's folk coming down out the lift with a shop and looking at us we had a drone inside yeah, you can some get moved on to some places with me that's i think that's one advantage of hiring like yeah. a villa like we've got here yeah. today is like you can actually you don't get moved on or like we've no, had we've you get in, moved on a lot we've don't been you? moved on in places dubai and yeah. new york don't or, forget about amsterdam yeah, we shot there. That's that right. was quite good for open winter. Oh, yeah, it looked quite good. nice. Yeah, that was when Doctor Ketz came out. Remember? Doctor Ketz came. Remember? <laughs> Lucky we had a doctor remember, on site. Remember? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Name, I'm not gonna name any names. One of the boys went spoke like a big doobie, right? And he came in and he was like, oh. and he just disappeared off somewhere. Oh, like, where the fuck's he gone? And the next thing you know, he's getting dragged through the bar, like, I waited. and then he's whitey and everywhere. I fell, and we're like, what the fuck happened to him? He fell again, cracked his head, yeah. got dragged outside. Ketz goes out two minutes later comes back in does the old finger test he went I did the finger <laughs> test on his eyes mate Devil. he's concussed he's definitely, definitely concussed. concussion I'm like what so did you become a doctor so he resolved the concussion oh, by going and buying different. him a Mars uh, bar <laughs> and another joint <laughs> Mars bar and sugar, he, sugar sugar helps. he ate the Mars bar and then uh, the person we won't name the, yeah, uh, was, miraculously recovered was fine yeah, yeah. yeah. So we were just Mars trying to bars, watch the Liverpool so, game so do you Mars remember bars, what you're telling me is Mars bars like cure they concussion. Don't like to let on that Mars bars can cure pretty much everything, <laughs> but we know. Doctor Kate, let Kets. the secret out, so isn't he? Oh, he's He'll be fizzing when he hears Some this. Man, right. Yeah, Amsterdam is it. Wait, I was, I'm just trying to think because I don't want to miss out any, uh, any good, <laughs> good stories. This is your moment of glory, <laughs> Gav. You've got five minutes yeah, of fame here. Five, five minutes left. Five minutes left. Five minutes left. Right, let's think of it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Dubai a couple of times. So cool. oh, Tenerife. Oh, Tenerife. What's uh, Tenerife? Oh. <laughs> Tenerife. <laughs> Tenerife, mate. Up the mountain. Oh, the balloons. Tenerife. The, the, oh, for fuck's sake, guy. But 
the <laughs> Is that when you ate the bat that wing? That was what he was wanting to talk about. <laughs> yeah. was that? Is that when you ate the bat wing? No. The fr- deep fried well, bat wing. Deep fried bat. Was we went up the, vo- <laughs> <laughs> the volcano. Can we, just start, the can we cut the first 20 minutes and just <laughs> talk about these we stories? We went up to the volcano and uh, me and Visual Aspect shot out in the middle of the desert, which is like a desert. <laughs> yeah, it was just had, windy, wasn't we it? We had uh, <laughs> like one little bottle of water between us. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, we shot there for five hours, man. <laughs> And the sun was just coming down on us. You were so red. I remember we went to that restaurant, Gav was red as oh, right. And you then think Gav we never, ate something that was like road cream. Cream. And then road I think cool. it was definitely sunstroke, but I was yeah. violent and violently <laughs> ill. And then I was, that, I was the bat. violently ill and we had to fly out the airport the next day. <laughs> and uh, I just sat in the disabled area <laughs> and nobody moved me on because I looked so bad <laughs> until they, they called the flight. And then that was delayed for two hours, man. I was just like, ah, this is not happening to me. I was ill. But uh, oh, yeah, Tenerife, don't times. forget Tenerife. Aye, that that was two models spend their whole day right, on balloons. Oh, I remember that. Oh, God. Aye, that was Aye, it was, it was hardcore. So anything else let's think about, I don't know. Uh, I think where else have we Barcelona have you been Barcelona have yep. shot in Barcelona we shot in Barcelona yeah we shot in Barcelona Glen Cole Glen Cole. Cole was freezing man got, we've definitely sh- we've shot plenty yeah, we've in Scotland all, all, all over the place London aye. Um, aye all over the joints so. kinda, what do you think like local bits and like, like it's, we've always find it hard like, it's, to just, it's kind of like, saturated now we've sort of yeah, shot, so we've shot with the weather, everywhere, we man. find the weather back home like it's, it's hard it's tough especially yeah. if we're trying to shoot a summer campaign like it's how no do chance. you make you you must see the photos when you're editing them like wow that looks epic like yeah. we shot stuff today that we've got online already yeah. and like that's just that you just know what it's going to do that's, gonna, that's a winner I mean, it's aspirational when you see palm trees and sunshine yeah, uh, with the product uh, yeah. spring summer especially if you you're in the UK or, or whatnot, and you think well do you know that's getting me excited about going away so Aye, hopefully they get involved in buying the product so yeah uh, it's been Abifa has been good fun as well yeah, a couple of times good, there. That was good to be fair um, Aye Lots and lots You've got to of, keep it going don't you? You've right. got to just but keep going uh, got to keep it going so Part of the, 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 the whole ethos is the adventures that you go on as well mm. It seems to sort they've of drive definitely got, they've, de- they've definitely got a little less rowdy over well, the last um, few years as we've got a little bit older, bit older and a bit sensible aye, a bit more sensible yeah um, which is disappointing I'm not going to lie Nevertheless You turned up on the Sunday this week like if that yeah. was five years ago, me and him were hanging. It was like we'd no. literally played two rounds of golf. I think. I know, yeah. Yeah. Legs were hanging. Had, a good, was, had yeah. a good sleep and stuff. Yeah. Like yeah. Oh, I saw Next break, we were ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys were hanging when we turned up in Tokyo. Oh jeez, that, that was a bad that was time. That was the, that was the jet off. lag, mate. That was the jet lag. I don't know. I think you were just walk, <laughs> walking in as we arrived. But <laughs> yeah, Tokyo wasn't good. And jet lag, and then having a few beers on top of that. Yeah, just silly idea. Smashed it, but silly idea. Yeah, it's all good fun. Like, uh, the one thing is uh, you have a laugh you go home after shoots and you, you think that was a real good a laugh there's a saying at the end of every shoot isn't there at the uh, airport uh, there is a how does it go well I usually say well that was Tokyo then oh, or that, that was, was uh, Dubai and yeah. we're moving on to the next we should moving put on, on to the, the next end place. of every video we yeah. should record that yeah. I think at the end of the day, no matter what happens going forward, you're always going to have the memories of the photo shoots, oh, and they were class. That's it. And having all the content you. there, you, you can look back on that yeah. on them over the years. Memories are good though. Yeah. Uh, it's been good fun. Thank well, we thanks for it. coming on the podcast, guy. That was good. Yeah, yeah, maybe they won't enjoy, but I really enjoyed yeah, that. That was, that was good. Living some we memories. could keep talking, to be honest with you, but um, you yeah. know, I think uh, we've said enough so far. Yeah, it's good. Thanks very much, guy. Appreciate it, mate. Thanks, man. Cheers.